it's Kaylee from Soy and Shay and thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already guessed, while I'm in the same top, I am having a soaping marathon at the moment and I am doing all of my Christmas soaps. So today's Christmas soap is Mistletoe and Ivy. It's a really nice fresh fragrance that's got notes of fir, mistletoe, cedar leaf, climbing ivy, vetiver, musk and sandalwood. And to me it smells like when you walk into a really nice florist and you get that hit of greenery. It's got 0% vanillin in it so I am going to do a white base and I'm going to drop swirl some green through it. And the greens that I'm using today, I have some elusive and jade mica, both from my micro obsession. So I'm going to get started by mixing my oils and my lye water together and then I'm going to split it out for the colours before pouring into my mould. start with the white first and I'm going to fill it to about halfway then I'm going to add some of the greens and then I'm going to try and do some mica vein lines through this as well so we've got our white and I'm now going to go for the green and as I'm pouring I'm making sure I'm coming up into all the corners so that each bar gets some color and some swirl Okay, so what I have in this little pot here, I have some extravagance mica, which I've mixed with a little bit of olive oil, which is one of the oils in my mix here. And all I'm going to do is use a pipette and I'm just going to drizzle just a little bit over the top. I don't want to do too much because the last time I tried to do some mica lines in the middle of the soap, I ended up with too much and it kind of made a bit of a mess of the top of the soap. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit. This bit needs a bit more, that's looking really pretty by itself. Might save some of that for the top of the soap. And now I'm going to keep adding more of my colors and hopefully that gold will create some really pretty veins throughout the soap. So I have got my piping ready and I've just got a standard open round tip on my piping bag here and all I'm going to do is pipe my three dollops along here. I'm not really wanting them to look like anything, it's just I wanted this as a high top soap to show off the embeds that um, I've made to go on this one. So while I'm piping this, I thought I'd let you know if you follow along with me on Instagram, and if you don't, I'll leave the links here for you. Um, you would have seen, I was actually meant to make these soaps yesterday in terms of me making them right now. I have been reading a lot about people master batching lye. And I thought, well, I want to make four soaps, so I might actually master batch my lye. And then because I know that some of these fragrance oils I can get away with less water and others I need more I'll then work out how to dilute it for each of my soaps so I thought I was being quite smart so I did a master batch of my lye with the one to one ratio I basically waited about seven hours for this 
bucket of lye water to cool down to a temperature that I could use. Now what I hadn't read on anyone's sort of or blogs or videos on YouTube, maybe I've just completely missed it, I thought we were down to about I think it was about 30 degrees and I soap anywhere from about 25 to 28 and I thought right now we're down to 30 degrees I can add in some of my distilled water and that should bring it down to the temperature that I need so I started to, to do this I picked the first soap and I worked out how much extra water I needed to add into this um, lye batch and I added in the water and I couldn't believe it. My lye water heated back up to 57 degrees. So I thought I'd done something wrong. I sat there and recalculated. I thought, no, no, that all, all um, is right what I've done. So I did the next one. And again, the temperature of that water skyrocketed. So I was, wasn't cross, but I was really upset that I had by this point, after working out how to dilute it and everything, had been waiting eight hours to make these soaps and all the oils were at the correct temperature and all of a sudden, none of my lye water was right for soaping with. I was so gutted last night. I ended up going into the house and saying to husband, we're going for a walk. I just need to go out and clear my head because that's just been a bit of a waste of a day. So if you are someone who is looking into it, be aware that when you add more water into that um, master batch of lye, it still creates that, I think they call it an exothermic reaction where it heats up. So <laughs> don't do what I did and waste a whole day doing it. I was trying to do it so that I would save on the amount of containers, in particular the lye containers that I was going to have lying around I thought it might have been safer but after all that I should have just actually done it my usual way and made out all my little lye pots for each of the soaps so I will have to do a little bit more research into why I would master batch lye if anyone wants to let me know because I don't really have facilities to store um, a master batch of lye I do have dogs and my studio area is really not big enough to put lye tanks and that sort of thing. So I was just going to master batch it for those soaps or for these soaps. Um, so yeah, just, just be aware of that. So I'm just going to top, finish chopping these up. I don't, it's kind of looking like cream, but I really don't want cream on top of my mistletoe and ivy. That's all right. It's going to give me a nice mound to put my embeds. I am just going to grab my little scraper and scrape as much of this out of here as possible so as not to waste any of this soap. Because I've got fragrance in my piping mix I don't really want to save it for soap dough because it may not match in with the, the next one I'm making but that looks like I have got that cleared out so I'm just going to go and grab the embeds so as mentioned in the plum pudding soap I've been having fun playing with soap dough and this is what I've made to go on here hopefully they look a little bit like mistletoe leaves and I have made, let's see if I can grab some here, some little mistletoe balls to go on there. And I also have some ivy leaves as well. So hopefully I can get all of these onto this soap. So let's pop them back down here. So we might start off with what are supposed to look like mistletoe leaves. And kind of knew I wanted these to go on here, but haven't really planned it in my head how they're going to look. I might actually pop them on that way and grab one of my skewers. I'm going to push it into the soap here. After I made them I was sitting in the lounge and thinking oh 
I think I may have actually made them a little bit too wide for the soap so I'll have to really think about how we're popping them on but I think that might work we might just push them in onto the edge here and then I can put in some of the little mistletoe balls but we don't want to bend it anymore and hopefully this will go through the soap cutter all right so I might just start putting a couple of these little mistletoe balls in so with these I've just made a little sausage sort of roll cut little pieces and then rolled them into balls and then to get the little brown centers I mixed up some mocha um, mica and I used a, with some alcohol and then I used a little bit of a skewer dipped the skewer into the the mix and then pushed it into the top of the soap ball to make that little indent and the color so I think yep that's gonna be fine I will bring you down for a closer look in a moment and I'm also going to pop the two pieces of ivy leaf on this side so I'm going to keep doing that I am going to take my glove off because I think I'm going to end up with it touching the soap and then getting them all over my decorations which they actually took me quite some time to make I sat there with my soap dough in front of my little computer here in my work studio I caught up on all of the YouTube videos that I had been missing out on from some of my favorite makers and I just sat here <laughs> making leaves and rolling little mistletoe balls and um, there's a couple of other embeds I have also made that one looks like it's a little bit big to go in there so we might actually I won't touch that with my finger I'm just going to wipe that off with the glove and pop it in that way so that, that big leaf is sticking into the soap and doesn't get broken when we go to package it up later. When I go to package these, depending upon how fragile they turn out, I may even make little cardboard backings for them to go onto so that they don't get damaged when going through the post or being taken to market. But we'll just see how well they set over the next couple of weeks. So I'm gonna keep popping these in and then we will be back. But before I do too much more, I was gonna put some of this gold mica on here. So I'll do that now so I don't wreck everything else. And that's just a little bit of that gold from inside of the soap, which should then tie the top of the soap to the outside here. Okay, so here is mistletoe and ivy so all down this side you can see the leaves from the mistletoe and the three little mistletoe berries we've got that really nice gold drizzle and you can see the mica on the top as well and just down this side we've got all those ivy leaves I'm really pleased with how this one has come up it's I'm really happy because I wasn't quite sure how the top was going to look but I'm pretty pleased with how that's come together so we're going to leave it sit here for 18 to 24 hours and I'll come back tomorrow and cut it and show you the inside I am back to cut mistletoe I'm a little bit gutted when I was pulling it out of its mold 
it slipped out of my hand and I have managed to break off just a couple of the leaves which I think I can put back on with a bit of melt and pour and I have squished the very front of it but I think we'll be able to solve that because we'll be taking a bit off the front as our sample piece. I am using my single bar cutter for this soap because I have a feeling I may end up needing it just to manoeuvre around those mistletoe leaves a little bit. So we'll cut a sample piece off the front here and then we'll get into cutting the rest of this bar. I'm just going to very gently move those leaves up because I'm pretty sure those ones are definitely in the way. And it's quite possibly because I haven't cut enough off the end here. So we'll take a little bit more and then I'll end up with two nice sample pieces to give out. All right, now we should be right to go. So let's see what we've got on the inside. This mistletoe and ivy is smelling really good. It's a nice, fresh, clean green sort of fragrance. So it'll be really nice for those morning showers when you need that little bit of up and go. So we'll pull this piece out and that is one side and when we flip it around we've got a really good drop swell going there you can see i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up but i can actually see little gold veins of mica through there where we put the the mica drizzle through it and there's little bits more around the side i'll bring it up and see if the camera will focus hopefully it will and then on the top we've got our ivy leaves and our little bit of mistletoe so that one is really good let's see if the next piece is looking just as good so we'll shuffle it along make sure I'm not going to cut any of that mistletoe perfect all right so we'll pull that one out and here is the next piece I can see a little bit of glycerin river in there but it's not too noticeable um, in that it kind of blends in with the whole pattern there and again we've got our mistletoe and ivy and I can still see those nice gold lines through it so, so get this next piece cut here and we'll come straight through down here so what is everyone's plans for Christmas? I know it's still quite early to be thinking about it, but we kind of have to think about it so we can arrange family. And because I do markets, I often have to have a think about what days we're doing markets and things like that. This year, we're going to go and spend some time with my partner's family. So we're actually going to go to the Sunshine Coast, which is about a two hour drive north of where we live and we're going to go and spend Christmas Day with his mum and dad and his sisters and the niece and nephews and this will be the first Christmas in quite a while we've actually got to spend with them because for the last few Christmases um, every time we've tried to go up there um, my in-laws have been off on cruises so we've not got to see them and because my partner works in hospitality it is a very rare occasion that he actually gets Christmas off but we decided that this year it was his turn because he's been there for a few years now and hasn't had a Christmas off so he's got Christmas day off and we've and a couple of days around it so we thought right we're going up and then we'll spend time with my family on the other days around Christmas so let me know what your plans are for Christmas down below. So I'm going to show you this last one here. So here is another piece and I can really start seeing those gold vein lines through these pieces now. And that drop swell is really pretty. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me make the mistletoe and ivy soap. If you have, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you do have any questions, then I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Just keep in mind, we do have a bit of a time difference um, here. So if I don't get back to you right away, it may be because I am sleeping. And quite often um, I get a lot of the questions when I'm at my Sunday markets, but I will get back to you when I get home from the markets. 
and if you haven't already why not subscribe to the channel um, and hit the little bell sign and it will let you know the next time I bring a video and just so you know all of my Christmas soaps will be available in the first week of November and I am only making the four loaves or four bars of soap that you'll see on here so if you are keen to get your hands on one make sure you either order online or come and visit me at the markets so until next week have a good one and i'll see you then bye <music>